Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or hi, my name is Stacy. if you're new here. So for today's video, we are doing a makeup artist look recreation. Today I'm recreating this look by Nikki Makeup on Instagram. She's a makeup artist I follow who I really like. She posts a tutorial like basically every Sunday. It's like one of her things that she does on her Insta. And yeah, just her makeup style is super beautiful. It's like natural glam, which is literally my essence. It's not like a no makeup makeup type of vibe. But at the same time, it still looks natural and like it looks like it's your skin but better, your eyes but better, your lips but better, etc. So this is the look that we're doing today. I just wanted to do my take on this look. I tried to use most of the same products, but some products are a little bit different because I don't have every single thing. So I did add like my little twist to it, but I generally try to get the vibe of the look, which I think we did achieve. If you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this because it really helps up my channel and it would really mean a lot to me. And let's just get right into the video. Okay, so she starts off by applying the Aura Glow Lust, which I do have. I have mine in the shade Morganite. So I'm just going to apply like a pump and put it all over because she applies it all over. And I'm just going to blend it out with my sponge. She uses a brush, but I use a sponge for pretty much everything. So you can see how that added like a really glowy base. Then I'm going to put a little more just on like the high points because I use a little bit less than a pump. But in the video, she was like super glowy looking. So I'm just gonna, you know, pump up the glow. I'm not gonna add more to the center of my face, just so that it doesn't make that part crazy looking. Also, this is a no foundation makeup look, which normally I do wear foundation. So it's gonna be a little bit interesting for me. It's not like I've never not worn foundation, but like for a makeup look. Okay, here's the base. Before I go in with concealer, I'm gonna add a step that she didn't do because the model has like already almost perfect skin anyway and this is relatively new to me so i just want to keep trying it out more it's the nars radiant creamy color corrector in the shade light i'm just going to apply this to my under eyes i'm not going to apply much just to like so i won't change the overall look but I do want to see how effective this is. I've used it once so far, but I want to keep testing it. Because yeah, my under eyes are really like, kind of like purpley brown. So I want to see if this color corrector is effective. The only thing is, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little bit darker than my skin. But we're going to brighten that with concealer. And my concealer is usually lighter than my skin because I like the bright under eye effect. As long as it's not like stark white. But I think that should cancel out. I think that will cancel out the darkness that we're adding right now. Because I'm not using foundation, so I do want to color correct a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to blend over with a sponge. Okay, so this is what the color corrector is looking like. I'm also going to spot conceal with this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have mine in the shade Madeline. Looks like this. Because I just have like a few zits here and there that I want to cover up. I'm just taking my sponge and pressing it in. And then covering up mainly this big one that was on my chin and then some hyper pigmentation spots along this part of my cheek they're like acne scars and then under my nose here okay i'm not gonna add too much because i want to keep it like natural looking to keep with the no foundation makeup look um okay now we're gonna go in with the product that she used which was the dior forever skin correct concealer like this and she put that kind of everywhere to like brighten so obviously the under eyes i'm gonna put a little thing here she added more concealer than me but i don't want to add that much just adding it to the areas to brighten and we're pulling it out this way okay so this is how the base is looking very natural. Still looks really good and perfected for like not having put any foundation on my face. So I'm liking it so far. Okay, then she sets the whole face with uh, the Laura Mercier powder, but I actually don't own that. That's my next powder on my wish list, but I'm just trying to get through the powders that I have right now because I don't really like need another powder. Like I love consumerism just as much as the next makeup addict, but I try to be like somewhat conscious 
of like my purchases. So for the things that I can control, I try to use it up first. Like my powders. I'm not gonna buy like 50 powders. So I'm gonna go in with my little mini trial, the hourglass one. Since she does kind of put this like all over the face, probably just to like set this like crazy glow that's going on. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put more concentrated amount like under the eyes because I do need to set that part. And in the like marionette lines right here. She kind of sets all over, which is honestly, I never set like my entire face. I only set like where I need it, like oil control. But uh, I guess I'll just, she does like a very light dusting. And also I ch specifically chose the hourglass powder because it's not super powdery in comparison to other powders. Like it doesn't completely take away the glow so it won't make my face look dry or anything. Okay, so I just did a very light dusting all over the face. This is what, what it's looking like after being set. Controlled the oils a little bit. Okay, next, this part is exciting. So I finally got my hands on the Dazzle Sticks from KVD. I think they went viral either on TikTok or something online. So basically they were sold out for literally the longest time and I had my eyes on them for like a really long time and I kept checking like when they would restock but like they never would come back into stock but finally I got my hands on them. The main one she used in this video was called Flash Storm which is like the purpley silvery one but I also saw that I think she might have used the Hail Surge one as well to like highlight so I'm gonna also use this one. It's like a champagne color. So yeah, first we're gonna go with the Flash Storm one. Okay, I'm just gonna swipe this on my eyelid. Because I'm the kind of girl who like needs my shimmers to be high impact, you know? So, and then I'm gonna use my finger to blend it all the way out. I'm a huge proponent of just using your fingers when it comes to shimmers. It just makes it so much better and it's also easier. Like, you don't have to work as hard to get shimmers to work when you use your fingers. Like they just melt and look super glossy and also high impact. The formula of these sticks is really good. Like super creamy. Blendable. I do think it looks, the color looked a little bit different in the video. It looked more purple and less blue. Like the color in the video looked more purpley taupe, whereas in here you can definitely see that blue shift like way clearer. It's kind of like those blue brown colors that are like really popular. So just keep that in mind because I feel like the video was a little bit misleading. Also, it might just be because like the model has a darker skin tone than me. So maybe it shows up different than on her. Cause I do feel like this color was also deeper than I anticipated. So it might just be like a skin tone issue. I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye. I'll fast forward this part. Oh yeah, I also wanted to say that the formula of this, so it's like super creamy and wet at first, but definitely dries down. But since it's like so thin, it doesn't do like that weird crackly dry thing that some like eyeshadows that dry down can do. And I feel like after this dries down, it's kind of like butch proof. So it's a really good long lasting glitter formula. Also perfect for the holidays. I feel like the champagne shade, this uh, Hail Surge shade is perfect for the holidays. That would be really cute. Like if you did it all just a wash all over your eyelid with a red lip. And I'm just blending the edges with my brush just to make the, the edge nice and perfectly diffused. This is it for the Flash Storm shade. So yeah, I feel like it looks pretty different than in the video. I'll try to insert the video here. But like, you can see the difference. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Anyway, so now I'm gonna go in with Hail Surge, which is like the champagne shade, and I'm just gonna, I guess, highlight my brow bone with it, because why not? Yeah, and then I just use my pinky finger to blend this out. It's quite shimmery and glittery. You can see there, that brow bone highlight. She's living her best life. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, that glow looks really good. Okay, and then I guess I'll take some on my pinky and put it in my inner corner. Yeah, that looks really good. I feel like it adds like a brightness that wasn't there before. Okay, so I think that's about it for the eyeshadow. The next thing is a liquid eyeliner, like a black liquid eyeliner. And as we all know, I mean, if you've been following my channel, you know that I literally never do a black liquid eyeliner. Your girl does know how to do it, okay? I know I've never shown on camera that I know how to do one, but I'll show you now. I have the Cleopatra ink, blacker than black y'all. That's the name of this eyeliner. Oh, this is by Oma, Woma. Yeah, I didn't buy this myself. I actually got this in a giveaway that I won from Jessica Vu on YouTube, or I, it was an Instagram giveaway and I won it and this was in it. So thank you to Jessica if you're watching, but I know she's not.
Also, you want to make sure to line in between your eyelashes too. Okay, I think that's one wing done. Um, yeah, it's really dramatic. Also, that's how hers looks. So, we're gonna keep it with the dramatic look. Honestly, I'm not super liking it. Like, I'm not really a dramatic eyeliner person. So anyway, I'm gonna do the same to the other eye and then I'll be back because there's no point in showing, so. Okay, so here's the eyeliner all done. It looks a little bit dramatic because also none of my, the rest of my face is done. Yeah, okay, so now we're gonna do the lashes. Okay, so it turns out that I actually can do fake lashes. I just did them. As you can see, the eyes are looking quite dramatic, but her eyes are also really dramatic. So I figured that we might as well do something a little bit outside of our comfort zone. Oh wait, you know what? I need to do some bottom mascara because like I never do that and I always forget. So I'll just do that now. Oh yeah, also for the falsies, they were MAC A80, I think. That's all I see on the back. I got them for free. Like, they're a gift with purchase. The only indication thing I saw was A80, so. Okay, I'm also going to line my waterline with the white metallic liner. That wasn't in the video, but I just wanna make my eyes pop more. Okay, I think that's it for the eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you out. After the eyes, she goes in with blush and she uses this exact one. It's the Ilia Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment. And I think it's in the shade before today, which is like the mauvier or pinkier shade. Okay, so I really like the formula of these. I've had these for a bit, but I hate the scent. I think some people will like it. It's a very strong vanilla scent. It's like a natural vanilla, like it just smells like pastries, I guess, but, or like vanilla extract, but it's like quite strong, which I don't like because it's very obvious. Like I can smell it on my face too. I'm just not super into that. But as you can see, like the formula just blends so effortlessly and it gives that added glow. It's a really nice formula and it's pretty long lasting too. Like, I feel like it's the perfect liquid blush texture. Oh, you can see it on my hand. It's a little bit moussey, like it's a thicker formula not liquidy. I feel like I'm not normally super sensitive to scents. Also, I don't really have sensitive skin, so it's not like a fragrance, like skin issue. It's literally just, the smell is so strong. Like it's like sickeningly sweet to me that it's like, that's kind of, it kind of makes me not want to use the product as much. Like just in comparison to my other blushes, cause I have so many like liquid and cream blushes. So like if it weren't scented, I feel like I would use it more. Cause it's a really nice product. And I really like the specific shades that they came out with. They're all kind of like muted. They do have like a brighter berry and a like rusty orange shade, but I feel like even those are more muted than like other brands versions of those, if you know what I mean. But I mean that in like a good way. I don't know, I feel like they all just have like really nice undertones. And they're pretty nuanced shades and they're pretty pigmented as you can see. Like, isn't that just so beautiful? And the glow that's coming through. Now she goes in with highlight. I don't have the one that she used, which is from Westman Atelier. So I'm just gonna use my Rare Beauty Mesmerize one because it looks similar-ish. Westman Atelier one is like kind of like a peachy bronzy one. And this is also kind of, oh wait, oops, I'm holding up Enchant. Okay, this is the shade Mem Mesmerize. So yeah, this is definitely like more of a peachy bronzy one. So I feel like it's the most similar liquid highlighter that I have. So I'm just gonna put these on my cheekbones. I'm kind of taking it in like the C formation with my cheekbone and then linking it to my brow bone. And then I'm gonna blend it with this beauty sponge. Like that glow is giving everything right now. So we're just gonna do the same to the other side. So far I'm loving like the glowy skin with the dramatic eyes. It just looks so good. And she does the brows, which she does like a soap brow, laminated brow thing. Um, And I don't have the specific things that she used, but I mean, it's gonna be a very similar look. Okay, I just ran and grabbed my mom's NYX The Brow Glue Brow Gel. This is also supposed to have like a good hold. So I'm gonna use this instead. Okay, so she like truly laminates it, like, like the hairs stick to her skin. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. But it kind of makes me uncomfortable like seeing that. Although she pushes them up. I don't know if I wanna do that. Well, I'm already doing it. Okay, I think that's enough brow gel for that eyebrow. Okay, with this technique, I just feel like it's kind of hard to get the eyebrows like in the exact places you want. As you can see, this one kind of has some bald spots, but we're gonna fix that because 
We're going to use the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen in the shade Taupe. We're just going to fill in like the bald areas. Also making sure to try to follow like the strokes of my natural brow hairs. Okay, I feel like that's about as good as we're gonna get. So, I think her brows are like lighter than what I did. But I don't know because naturally my brow hairs are really dark. So like anytime I do them, my eyebrows just get darker obviously. So yeah, it's really hard for me to do like a natural brow. Okay, it seems like then she just line flips with a brown lip liner. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. That's the lips all lined. And lastly, we're going to, I actually do have this product. The lipstick she uses is the Pat McGrath Matte Trance in the shade 1995, which is like a really nice brownie beige nude. This is what the lipstick looks like just by itself. But as we know, I am a gloss girl and the chronically dry lips cannot handle just like a pure matte lipstick, especially in the winter. We're gonna stick with the Pat McGrath family. So I'm gonna add just some of this lip gloss from Pat McGrath. It's actually a new one I got. It's in the shade Bronze Divinity. I bought this um, during her like $14 lip sale. So this was 14 when it's normally 28, I think. So yeah, that was a steep discount. I highly recommend buying the lip products only when there's the sale because there's kind of no point to be paying double when you could pay half. But yeah, like I really like this shade. I'm just gonna keep this as a really thin layer of gloss because I don't want to change the lip color too much. This is the perfect, it's described as a bronze, but I mean, it's quite rosy and just like, I mean, it definitely is kind of bronzy because it's more neutral. But yeah, I really like this shade. It's like super shimmery too. Anyway, okay, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more blush because we know that I'm a blush stan and I feel like I just, I'm just lacking a little bit, so. And even though this blush is pretty pigmented, I feel like it's pretty hard to overdo it because it's not like overly pigmented, you know? And it shears out kind of like watercolor. I'm gonna add some more on this cheek. Also because she didn't use any like bronzer or contour, at least not in the video. It's kind of interesting because I feel like normally makeup artists don't like skip that. Yeah, so I feel like because we're not adding any bronzer, we need to add a little bit more blush to like liven up the face. But yeah, that's that's doing it for me. Okay, yeah, that, that is a good amount of blush. And I'm gonna finish with some setting spray. Okay, yeah, so this is the final makeup look. What do we think? I'll show you from all the angles. Should I zoom you in? I'm gonna zoom you in a little just to see. I feel like this is a really nice glam look. I'll show you the finished product of like what hers looks like. So we can see. Um, yeah, obviously I don't look exactly like the model. And there were some like tweaks here and there that are different from what Miss Nikki makeup did. But overall I tried to, I used most of the like important products. But yeah, I really like how everything came out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I like that doing this like makeup recreation kind of pushed me outside of my comfort zone to do some things that I don't normally do. Like I tried to do the brow lam lamination thing and I mean, I kind of succeeded, but it's definitely not as like spiky as like a true laminated brow thing. Oh yeah, also like the really thick black liner. Okay, honestly, I think it works with like the heavy thick lashes and obviously the falsies because I literally never do falsies just because it takes me so long and it's just a lot of effort. But I feel like I'm getting better at it because it didn't take me that long this time. Sorry, I did off camera because I didn't know that I was going to be able to do it successfully. <laughs> yeah, I'm normally like, I never wear falsies. I'm not a falsie kind of girl, but I really like how these ones look because they're pretty dramatic, but they still look natural at the same time. It's not the type where it's covering up your whole eye makeup, you know, and like overwhelming your eye, which I feel like is easy with like my Asian eyes. So yeah, I'm kind of surprised that I actually really like these lashes. I feel like they look kind of similar to the ones that Nikki makeup used. Oh yeah, and the fact that this was a no foundation look, which normally I also don't do, but like the skin is looking really nice. It's looking really perfected. Obviously I did spot conceal. So I feel like if you have blemishes, and you want to do that. I feel like with spot concealing, it gives you, it still gives you a very flawless finish, but you have like way less product on your skin than if you did like a whole foundation. So I feel like it looks really good. Like honestly, following makeup artists is the way to go. Like, cause they obviously know what they're doing. They're professionals and they're paid to like do makeup on all types of skin, skin tones, skin types, like face shapes, 
eye shapes, lip shapes, whatever. Like they just understand like the human face, you know? That's about it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought of today's makeup look. And also let me know if you want me to, to do more like either makeup artist recreations or like celebrity makeup recreations. That would be fun too. But yeah, I would definitely like, like to do more videos like this in the future. Let me know down in the comments below if that's what you would like to see. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and comment and subscribe down below if you want to see more content like this because it really helps out my channel and would really mean a lot to me and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!